Hey everyone, welcome to Savage Life for Me. I'm Brittany Savage. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I upcycled a purse that I had thrifted for only a dollar into a spiderific spiderweb purse. Stay tuned. You'll need a purse similar to this one. White puffy fabric paint. And some painter's tape. First, I applied painter's tape to the top and bottom of the purse to prevent smudging. I began by drawing a line down the middle of the purse. I then went back in and thickened the lines. Next, I outlined one side of the purse. Then you'll want to do the same for the other side. I've honestly been wanting to get a spiderweb purse forever, but all the ones I've seen are expensive, so I decided to make my own by upcycling this purse I thrifted online. Again, you just want to go ahead and thicken the lines as needed. From there, you'll want to start filling in the top with lines. I started mine by working from the outside inwards. I used this method because I felt like it'd be thus like you smudge. baby wipe to clean up one of my lines. It's a cool craft hack I've learned over the years and comes in handy when using acrylic or fabric paints. Now what you want to do is fill in the last two lines. What I did was I started the lines on either side of the middle line in order to try to keep it even and centered. Afterwards, I just filled in the rest of the lines.
Next, I drew a curved line to connect each of the lines of the web. I love how there's so many different types of spider webs, and they're all unique in their own way. You'll then want to repeat this step throughout the remainder of the purse, widening the spacing between the curves as you go in order to create more of a spider web effect. <laughs> be weird but when I decided to DIY my own spiderweb purse I had came across this one online and the design idea came to me instantly <laughs> You'll want to stop connecting the lines once you start to run out of room on the purse. Feel free to extend any of the lines as needed in order to help the tails of the web look even. <music> Lastly, you'll want to outline the corner of the purse in order to create a triangle shaped web. <music> Thank you. 
Then you want to draw a line down the center and then connect the lines with curves. Go ahead and do that to the end of the lines just like you did in the top half of the purse. Again, feel free to extend the lines in order to give more of that web effect. Then you'll want to repeat the same steps on the other side. Once the paint is fully dry, feel free to go back with a black fabric paint marker to do touch-ups throughout the webs, such as fixing smudges and straightening lines. When you're done, the purse should look something like this. Stay tuned to see it in action. If you liked that video, hit the like button and subscribe for future uploads. Thanks for watching.